time to all hope all are fine by the grace of god dear children today let's learn a poetry again are you ready that is what witness the voice of the rain what's it what's the title the voice of the rain by wall witman the american poet before moving to the poetry let's read the poet's profile walter witman was an american poet essayist journalist was born on 31st may 1819 in west hills new york united states and died on 26 march 1892 in camden new jersey united states he is considered one of the greatest poets in english language and is america's world poet a later day successor to homer virgil dante and shakespeare he is considered as the father of free verse in his poem his lines vary in length but are often quite long and are composed in free verse without standard patterns of rhythm or rhyme walt whitman's poetic style may be best described as innovative and unconventional whitman constructed his poems according to his own rules His most known works are from his epic collection of poetry Leaves of Grass which was first published in 1855 and was republished several times over the next four decades. The last publication consisted of over 400 poems. The verse Collection Leaves of Grass is his best known work. In this he celebrated democracy, nature, love and friendship. This work chanted praises to the body as well as to the soul and found beauty and reassurance even in death. My dear children, I think you got a picture of Walt Whitman's The American Poets profile. Let's move to the poem in detail, The Voice of the Rhyme. It is actually a conversation between the poet and the rain. Here we can see the personified figure of rain. Rain has been personified here in this poetry. Here the poet makes out as the water cycle in a simple poetic way and also compare poetry and rain. That is how the poem nourishes humanity just as rain nourishes the earth. Okay, let's go through the poem. Are you ready? Let's recite the poem. the voice of the rain and who art you said i to the soft falling shower which strain to tell gave me an answer as here translated i am the poem of earth said the voice of the rain eternal i rise in palpable out of the land and the bottomless sea a bird to heaven when vaguely formed altogether change and yet the sea i descend to lay the drought's atomies the layers of the globe and all that in them without me were seeds only latent and born and forever by day and night i give back life to my own origin i make pure and beautify it for so issuing from its birthplace after fulfillment wandering record out and record duly with love returns okay children let's move to the poetry in detail children the poem consists of 12 lines with free verse and it's a communication it's a conversation between the poet and the rain and it is really strange that uh, the rain replay uh, like a human you know that the rain won't replay just like human so it's a strange thing to replay to the poet is it it okay let's move and who are you 
said I to the so falling shah, which strange to tell, gave me an answer as your translator. I am the palm of earth, said the voice of the rain, eternal, I rise impalpable out of the land and the bottomless sea. Here, in the first four lines, those lines, the poet asks the rain, Who art you? That means, Who are you? To which, to the question, the rain replied in a strange way. We know that rain will not give the voice or as reply just like a human. Okay, the rain said, it was the poem of the earth and it rose continuously from the earth and the deepest ocean in the form of verbose. We already said that the poet said about the water circle too in a simple poetic way. Okay, you got it. Children, water circle shows the continuous movement of water within the earth and atmosphere. Liquid water evaporates into water vapor, condenses to form clouds and perspades back to earth in the form of rain and snow. Okay, water in different phases move through the atmosphere. I think you are alone in the science, so no need to explain it more time. Here the poet compares this rain with the poem. Uh, he said that how the rain nourishes the earth, just like that poem nourishes the humanity, human. Okay. And who art thou? said I to the soft falling shaw. We strange to tell, give me an answer as your translator. I am the poem of earth, said the voice of the rain. Eternal I rise impalpable out of the land and the bottomless sea. Who art you mean? Who art thou means? Who are you? In the first line, I is the poet. The poet as the rain, who are you actually? My dear children, so falling sure, it's an example of imagery here. That is the poet used the poetic device imagery. That is visual images. We can imagine that. Okay. So falling shower is the example of imagery. The poet uses the poetic device imagery here. So falling shower. Also is the sound, the consonant sound is, is repeated here. Uh, so it is an example, example of alliteration too. We strain to tell, to tell to tell t is repeated here the consonant sound t is repeated so it is an, also an example of alliteration give me an answer as he translated i am the poem of earth said the voice of the rain i am the poem of earth that is the poet use metaphor here that is he comparing the rain with the poem comparing the qualities of two things that is metaphor the poet use the poetic device metaphor here i am the poem of earth that is here he compared the poem with the rain said so the voice of the rain voice of the rain is personified here the rain has been personified here that is the example of personification okay voice of we know that a rain will not reply just like human so here rain is personified he used the poet whitman used the poetic device personification here eternal I rise impalpable out of the land and the bottomless sea that is impalpable means uh, we cannot describe we cannot touch that okay that is evaporation concept eternal I rise impalpable out of the land and the bottomless sea bottomless sea is the exaggeration of the deepest sea so here he used the hyperbole Poetic device hyperbole here, the exaggeration of the word, bottomless sea, the deepest sea. Okay, you got it. The four lines, my dear children. Moving to next lines. A word to heaven when sweetly formed, altogether changed and yet the same. I descend to lay the droughts at a maze just less of the globe. And all that in them without me were seeds, only latent and born. Verse said. A word to heaven whence, whence means where, from where, vaguely means not clearly, vague means not clear, unclear, vaguely means not clearly. I descend to lay the droughts, descend means come down, to lay, lay means wash, 
okay drops atomies atomic means small particles okay small particles and all that in them without me were seeds only latent and born latent here means hidden buried the children hear the rains till the boy that it rises up towards the sky in the form of vapor where it changes its form into water droplets okay i think you know that you are learned in the science uh, what is meant by water cycle then it also says that although its form gets changed it still remains the same okay then the rain comes down to wash the drought and provide water it also washes away the dust and small particles from the earth surface it clear off it wash all the dust particles all the dust small particles from the earth surface and the seeds inside the earth grow into a plant we know that how we need that we know that how the plant grow the germination process okay it needs water provided by rain without rain we know that what the atrocity comes and the seeds inside the earth grow into a plant because of the water provided by the rain okay it gives life to the seeds also okay here the poet use the poetic device consonants that is d sound the prominence of d sound here so he used the consonants addition to have uh, lay the trout's atomic dust layers these are the prominence of d here and the uh, next line that them without the prominence of the sound that is also he used uh, the poetic device consonants okay moving to the last lines and forever by day and night i give back life to my own origin and make pure and beautify it for the song issuing from its birth place after fulfillment wandering record or and record duly with love returns what said and forever by day and night i give back life to my own origin and make pure and beautify it for the song issuing from its birth place after fulfillment wandering record or and record duly with love returns record or and record means it means whether cared or not okay who are cared or not it doesn't matter it doesn't affect the uh, the poet said that it doesn't affect the rain or the poet if someone listen to the rain or not just like that okay here the rain says that by day and night it provides it gives life care nourishment and water to the place from where it originated from where it came okay the rain keeps enhancing the beauty and purity of the earth by pre- preparing a life cycle for itself again you get it children here the rain says that by day and night it gives life care and enrichment and water to the place from where it originated okay and forever by day and night i give back life to my own origin and make pure and beautify it that is the rain keeps enhancing the beauty and purity of the earth by preparing a life cycle for itself record or unrecorded means it doesn't matter it doesn't affect the rain it doesn't matter to the rain and the poet if someone listen to the rain or not okay that is the meaning here children in these lines the poet uses the anaphora the poetic device that is the line starting with the same word and and forever and make pure okay the line starting with the same word that is anaphora okay he used the poetic device anaphora in these lines let's recite the poem again and who art thou said i to the soft falling shaw which strange to tell give me an answer as your translator i am the poem of earth said the voice of the rain eternal i rise in palpable out of the land and the bottomless sea a word to heaven whence weakly form all together change and it the same i descend to have the drops atomies just layers of the globe 
and all that in them without me were seeds only latent and born and forever by day and night i give back life to my own origin and make pure and beautify it for song is chewing from its birthplace after fulfillment wandering ricket or and ricket duly with love returns my dear children we know that the poem written in a free verse and the tone is conversational one that is conversational in nature Theodorain is uh, the speaker and has been personified the poet finds a similarity between the music and rain okay he feels that both share similar features he feels uh, both music and rain take birth from the heart of the earth and after fulfilling its deed return to its soul he tells us that soft and light music of rain is a song of the earth itself Okay children I hope you enjoyed this poetry the voice of the rain written by the american poet Walt Whitman Okay children I'm going to give the section here catch you soon with another one till then bye bye mm-hmm.